thank you so much for being here with us today. It's my pleasure, Josh. Really appreciate it. Of course. So, one of the things I really enjoyed about reading The Meaning of Matthew was getting a chance to get a sense for the person, Matthew, and not just the news story. Good. And I'm wondering if that was one of the things you set out to do most with this book. You know, it absolutely was. We, it, it dawned on us that the Matthew Shepard everyone else knew, the icon, the news person, uh, was not like our Matt. Uh, and, and I wanted everyone who knew Matthew to get to know our Matt as well. So, uh, and I just didn't think it was fair to his friends and his community, his peers, that this um, icon of perfection was being Matthew, because he was just like everybody else. There was nothing different or unique about him in that respect. He had you know, issues and temper tantrums and bad days and good days, just like everybody else. He was a real person. He was a real person, yeah. yeah. He, was a, he was a real person. One of the funny things about actually the memories and doing this book was it allowed us to remember the things about him that annoyed us as well as the things we loved, which made him whole for us again, too. It's part of the whole package exactly. of a person. Exactly. So you're in New York, and you took part in Pride this weekend. I did. And you're doing a reading with the paperback release of your book. Yes. Could you ever have imagined 12 years ago that you'd be in the Pride Parade in New York City and <laughs> promoting a book? No, no, I, I not in my wildest uh, imaginings would I ever think that would happen. I wasn't even sure I, I wanted to do a book. I was sort of talked into it, and I'm glad I did it now because now our version of the truth is out there. Um, we did our best to keep it real. Uh, and, and it was it was really poignant yesterday, going down Fifth Avenue. I was remembering that there was the vigil for Matt down Fifth Avenue that led to such issues in New York, mm -hmm. and it was really that was really quite an amazing moment for me. I'm sure the crowds were very responsive. They were they were lovely, and huge, and huge. <laughs> in the book, you talk about Matthew's coming out as gay and your acceptance of it. And I'm wondering if you have any words of advice for families or family members who are dealing with a young person coming out as gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender. Well, you know, it's, it's, uh, I wish there were a template in place so it would make it easier for everyone if the whole process was the same, but it's different for everybody yeah. based on family history, culture, religion, geographic location, school, you know, all those things. But what it really boils down to is for parents and family members, friends of someone who's struggling with coming out or has come out and no problem, mm -hmm. they're still they're going to face societal issues. And it's just to be present and to listen. Not maybe talk so much, but listen to what's going on so they know how to help. So this past October, 11 years after Matt's death, the Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Jr. Hate Crimes Profession Act passed in Congress mm -hmm. yeah. and was signed by President Obama. Yeah. Really exciting. Very. With that under your belt, what are you setting your sights on next? Well, we said all along that this was not the be-all, end-all to get this legislation through. This is the building block for the rest. Mm -hmm. There's so many civil rights still being denied the gay community, large and small. Uh, we're just going to keep at it until everything is there as, as long as we can or as long as we need to. Is there anything in particular that you're setting your sights on? Well, I, I'm really hopeful about the non-discrimination non employment and because uh, I think that would take care of a lot of other things that are an issue. It would sort of like be a big umbrella for a lot of issues, including Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Uh, that would cover a lot of that. I think marriage will be the last one we address, mm -hmm. simply because of uh, society's acceptance and Congress's reluctance to even talk about it. So uh, I think that will be the last one. In the book, you talk a bit about the men responsible for, for Matt's death, their, their trial, and their guilty pleas, and a little bit about their lives. One thing not mentioned too much, though, is the word forgiveness, one way or another. And I was curious where you stand with that word and those yeah. men today. You know, it's not really part of my process. Um, yeah. I don't blame them 100% for what happened to Matt. I blame society for uh, creating or allowing the environment to, for them to think it was okay to do that to Matt. Right. Um, so it's, and they've not asked for that from us. So I, I'm just not, uh, I'm, it's just not on my radar right now. If they approach us, I'll give it some thought right now. It's just not, not part of my process. You've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Yeah. As you go forward with your advocacy work and the work of the Matthew Shepard Foundation, I'm wondering, what are your hopes for the future? You know, I just want, in a perfect world, we wouldn't have to categorize by race or religion or sexual orientation or gender identity. And any of those things, we would just recognize each other as human beings with our, own, with our own character, our own specialties, and our own flaws. And that would just be great. I don't know if we're grown up enough for that yet as a society, but 
I would really like to see that happen. Specifically with us, uh, I want kids to be safe. I just want kids to be safe and to have everything they deserve in their future life. Um, I, right now, it seems to me like the gay community is, uh, as, as one of my friends said, we're planting trees now to provide shade for the younger generations. And mm -hmm. I hope we do that, and I hope the younger generation remembers everything that happened to get them there. Thank you so much, and congratulations on Thanks this book. Thanks very much. Thank you very Thank much. You.